So here are my four columns of data, voltage in the first column and three columns representing the three resistors from the electrical test. I'm going to convert from milliamps to amps. I'll do it by writing a maths formula. Start with equals, click on the value in milliamps and divide by 1000. I'm now going to autofill down the rest of the column. So from the first cell, chose the bottom right corner, get the special simple cross shape and then left click and drag. Autofill across the top and I'll autofill down the remaining columns. I next want to format all the cells so they have three decimal places. So I'm going to highlight the entire field, right click and choose format cells and in number choose three decimal places and then click OK. So here's my table with the current recorded in amperes. Now if I highlight the entire table and use this table to place my XY scatter plot, I can go to insert a scatter plot and I'm not going to get what I want. Notice that voltage by default has gone onto the x-axis because this was the first column of data. So I'm going to delete this graph and specify the data individually. Now click away from the table completely, go to insert and I'm going to choose an xy scatter plot with only markers. I'm now going to specify the data series individually. So in the design tab at the top I'm going to click on select data and now specify the data series. I'll go to add, click on this. Now for the first series I'm going to do the 100 ohm resistor. So just type 100 R here and that is specified. Now for the X values click on the red icon at the end of the field and current goes on the X axis. That's a left click and a drag. Now I need to choose what the Y values are. Click on the red icon at the end of the field and a left click and drag down to block in the Y values, which is the voltage. And that's the first series specified. Same again for the next series. 100 ohms is specified. I'm now going to add for the next resistor. Now I can just click on the 220R value and that will pass the series name. The X values is the current. Now to choose the Y values, click on the red icon at the end of the field and then left click and drag down what the Y values are. And now I have two series of data placed on the chart. Now finally for the 470 ohm resistor test for the series name, I click on the 470R cell. Now I forgot to specify the X and Y series for this resistor, so I can actually go here to the Edit tab, and I'm going to edit this data series for the X values, like so, and then add for the Y values. Left click, left click and drag left click, choose OK and then click OK. So that gives me a chart with voltage placed on the Y axis, current placed on the X axis and three data series displayed as shown.